Mamma, cupi la tractora. Sche Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to a new video. Today we are going to be analyzing the lyrics and the meaning of the song from Croatia, from Eurovision. The song is called Sche. The other day I posted a reaction on YouTube and I am so overwhelmed. Super thankful. It got 100,000 views in two days. Guys, you are crazy. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love you all so much. This is so amazing. I, I don't know what to say, really. I love the song and the reaction showed it, I guess. So a lot of you watched it and I want to say big, big thank you to it. But of course, in this reaction that if you haven't watched it yet, you have to go now. We left a lot of questions open, a lot of, yeah, unanswered questions about the meaning, about the lyrics. And today we are going to find out what this song means, okay? You saw in the beginning of the video that this uh, song has a lot of graphical images, a lot of meaning. And uh, I just cannot wait to go the, through the comments and also the translation of the lyrics to find out. Before we start, please make sure to subscribe down there in the red button and help me reach 50,000 subscribers. You are doing an amazing job and I want to say I love you all so much. And look, I have a Croatian flag. <laughs> Let's go. I, I have a flag collection and of course Croatia has to be in the collection. Anyway, let's start by checking the translation of the lyrics and I all, uh, want to sing the song. So the song goes Mamma cupi la tractora Sche Mamma cupi la tractora Sche Mamma cupi la tractora Traina nina armagedon dona So this means mom bought a tractor Mom bought a tractor Traina nina armagedon Grandma. So Nona means grandma in Croatian. I forgot to mention, a lot of you sent me messages on Insta and also on TikTok about this song and about the meaning and I thank you all so much for this and you gave me the idea to film this video so if you are watching and you are from Croatia just leave a comment down there and see where you are in Croatia from, like what part of Croatia. I wanted to visit uh, Zagreb two years ago but then with the Covid I couldn't go you know but I have to go back. And then it keeps going. Mamma jubila morona. Che. Mamma jubila morona. Che. Mom loved a moron. Trainanina Armageddon Grama. What is Trainanina? This is a good question. And then that little psychopath, wicked little psychopath, crocodile psychopath. Mom, I'm going to war. You see, the meaning is already uh, defined. It's something war related. And a lot of you said in the comments that the little psychopath is actually referring to Russia president. Of course, he is a little psychopath and he's a, he's a lot of things that I shouldn't say. But uh, now let's go through your comments because they are very interesting, actually. Look, Fidelis Raven says, Tractor is a reference to Lukashenko's birthday present to Putin. In the song, He's described as a vile little psychopath. The vocalist represents Stalin and the guy with rockets has nine on his forehead. Oh damn. And Mama's Che is a metaphor for Mother Russia. And Crocodile is a popular drug in Russia that makes people act like zombies. Oh my god. You see, this song is way more interesting than you might have thought in the beginning. Um, I said this in my reaction. Uh, in Eurovision, there are a lot of types of songs. Songs that are very catchy about love or whatever, but they, they catch you and you, you, sing in, you sing them in your head all the time. Then there are songs with a meaning. Not so great songs, I, I have to say, not so musical. Okay, no. you understand what I mean. But songs with a meaning. Last year we had the Serbian song uh, with the Bitis Drava, the, the woman washing her hands. And now we have this Sche by Let Free. And this is this type of song with a strong meaning. Mama bought a tractor. Mama means Russia. Loved a moron. Meaning this guy. And that little psychopath, little vicious psychopath, crocodile psychopath. The whole thing is trolling Vladimir level one, <laughs> one million. I would bring your attention to the fact that the band members are naked in the end with roses. <sighs> this is crazy. This song is crazy. 
This song is actually an actual masterpiece, really. Just like this guy says, it is an absolute masterpiece. You say later when you fully understand the meaning. Well, we are trying to understand it now. Also, check, I mean, leave a comment if you have something to say, something to add, something you would like to emphasize. I'm trying to not say certain words out loud because then the video will get, you know, you know what it will happen to the video. But um, this song is a, is a masterpiece, really. At first, I was confused by these men not wearing many clothes and uh, the strange outfits. But now I see. Now I see what's up. Croatia, congratulations. This is an amazing song. They say, these guys, let three, are not a regular band. They are provocative art performers. They have next week on the 14th February anti-Valentine's concert? What? Really? Oh my God, this is epic. This is so epic. So they, they kind of go against the rules, right? The band is more than 30 years on stage and their fans are from 10 to 70 years old. Oh my God. So this, this band is like, not a comedy band, but they criticize what happens in society. They criticize, yeah, like this, anti-war zone and the nuclear threats, blah, blah, blah. The tractor is a reference to Lukashenko. I had no idea about this. And Mama's Che stands for Russia. This is amazing. Now we have another uh, website here that tells what is the meaning of the song. Let's see if they are right. Oh, this image is amazing. Um, it says, um, ba -ba -bum -ba -bum. 500 years older than the first alphabet found. This is the old oldest alphabet. The letter SCH is the oldest letter of the alphabet, which has 63 letters, okay? And also they're saying that SCH also means blood type. It can also be a sigh during orgasm or meditation. For me, ch means like ch ch, like hold your horses, calm down. But of course, for a Croatian, could mean something different. Um, the theme is war. The song is anti-war. It was created last summer. Well, the the band was working in Split. I think it's a it's a masterpiece, really. As I said, oh, and today I I was driving in my car and I was playing this song, and. It was great. It is also cool to listen to it when you are driving. Look, this. Uh, who is the tractor and who is the mother? Well, now we know the tractor is a reference to Lukashenko and the mother is Mother Russia. I think it's so great that uh, they managed to write this song. And I want to ask you, did this song find a lot of competition in Croatia or, you know, when you held this uh, contest to choose the winner? Everybody voted for this song or there was a big, um, you know, dispute or controversy. I would like to know this. But I think the meaning is just amazing. It is a great way of, uh, you know, showing that you are not supporting what is happening nowadays in the world. The graphism are <laughs> just incredible. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else I can say about this song. I really like it. Um, I think it's a great, yo, it's a great message. It's the message is what makes this song so great. And also you guys are being super supportive. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to sing it last time to put the little bit in the beginning of the video. So I'm going to try my best. Mama, a ver, it's Mama Ljubila Morona. No, no, no. I prefer the tractora. Cupila tractora. Mamma cupi la tractora. Sche. Mamma cupi la tractora. Sche. I hope you were singing with me eh? at home. Um, I think I'm gonna leave the video here. As you can see, the meaning is really deep, it's really profound, and it's really rich. Uh, the song, at first, I thought these guys are crazy. They're singing about a tractor, they're wearing strange things, and then they they take their clothes off. So I thought these guys are onto something, they're crazy. But then, bro, I, I saw the real meaning. I saw what it means and it touches, it, it, it got to my heart, really. So I am so happy to, to, to know that this will be representing Croatia. And I hope the Croatian nation more or less agrees with these ideas because it is a very necessary meaning in nowadays world. You know, the, the people are going crazy.
Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Send you a lot of kisses from Spain. Uh, I love my Croatian flag, I have to say. It is so beautiful with the little squares, white and red. I actually don't know what they mean. So if you can tell me that in the comments as well, I would love it. And I wish you a great day and speak to you soon. Bye bye.